So for this video guys, I'm going to be reacting to a stand-up comedian named Kyle Kanan. My first time watching him guys, and he's talking about people with lip rings. So let's jump into the video, hopefully it's funny, and we'll have a little discussion after. Let's go! Good evening, champions! <laughs> We've already won, because we're here. Um, hey, this happened to me. I had to talk to somebody. Uh, with a lip ring. Have you ever had to do that? That should never have to happen. <laughs> I had to talk to somebody with a lip ring. You ever talk to somebody with a, you ever hear somebody with a lip ring offer their opinion on something? <laughs> it's almost adorable, you know? Because, like, they have no idea that when they talk, all people hear is, hey, guess what else I'm wrong about? <laughs> like, they don't even notice that that's what's coming out of their mouth. You want to know what I think? No, you fucked up that option when you did that to your face. That's what happened there. I know what you think. It's wrong. Whatever it is. No matter what you say. And if you say something I agree with, I'll change my mind because I can't be on the same side of any conversation. I just don't want to listen to people give me opinions ever. Everybody, everybody wants to tell you what they think about stuff. Like I, I was in a bar the other day or all the time, you know, whatever makes the story work. And, uh, there's a fella sitting there, and he's spouting off about the politics, and you gotta vote for this guy, you gotta vote for that guy, you gotta get the... First off, I don't think you got your... I don't think you're on the political pulse of the world if you're getting drunk on a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> I don't think you really know what's going on in the world. <laughs> Furthermore, anybody that doesn't already realize that our world leaders are hand-selected by a committee of the Illuminati and the lizard people... <laughs> to, take, a, take a hike, man. You don't know what's going on. Telling me my vote counts? That's a terrifying concept. Look around. All your votes count. I saw a guy taking a shit on a sidewalk earlier. His vote counts. <laughs> that doesn't scare the fuck out of you? My vote counts. You should be terrified of that. I'm not qualified to pick out that. When I wear headphones, I think I become invisible. And you're telling me I can pick out presidents? That's too much. I stood at an airport urinal for 20 minutes once just with my, iPod, with my iPod listening to Eddie Money's greatest hits just twirling my pubic hair like it was a villain's mustache. <laughs> I had to get halfway through two tickets to paradise before I realized there was other people around. <laughs> I'm not qualified to do anything. And, and then... Like all my friends, we're just all idiots that just drank and did drugs all the time. And now my friends, they have children? Oh, oh, that's, that's, that scares me to my bones. They can't qual I, 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 my friend has two daughters. I saw him fall off a roof on purpose once. <laughs> but he just made kids. You, Cause you can do that. I had another friend, I was complaining on a Sunday night. I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta work all day tomorrow. He's like, you gotta work, I gotta babysit. Like, babysit? They're your children. <laughs> That's called father. <laughs> and everybody, it's always a miracle. Every time somebody is like, oh, it's just a miracle. We're having a kid, it's a miracle. Oh, you had sex, right? <laughs> yeah? Then, uh, that's exactly what's supposed to happen from the sex. There's a baby. You try everything. As I, I always call it a miracle when the girl doesn't get pregnant. That's when I... <laughs> That's when I get spiritual. Really, nothing at all? Nothing? All right, you're winning some points up there. Okay. okay. But know, it's, at least all my friends had the accident babies, which is a good thing. You know, they all had the mistake babies. Like, you what? You're pregnant? Uh, all right, fuck it. We'll keep it. We'll put it in the corner, throw food at it, see what happens. You know what I mean? Because that's going to be an interesting child. You know, there's nothing scarier than when you meet two people that are like, we're trying to have a baby. Those are the creepiest people I've ever met in my life. Because they're always the people that sit too close to each other at the bar already, and they're, like, touchy, and they, like, feed each other nachos all creepy. Like, they're already weirdos. And then they're like, we're trying to have a baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're trying to have a baby. No, you're fucking. That's what you're doing. But you're taking all the wonderful, sticky, filthy things about fucking. Oh, just, ooh, yeah, maybe I'll slap that and do that. Maybe a finger? No finger. Okay, no finger. You know? You're taking all those wonderful things, and instead of that, you're just replacing it with, this is how we make little people with our faces on them, and that's horrifying. That should be the furthest concept from your mind. That is disgusting. This is how we make little you's and me's. Guys, my 
James Carkinen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great stuff there by Kyle Kinnan. My first time watching him. I love his delivery. I love some of his material. So I'm going to continue reacting to some of his uh, comedy. So let me know in the comment section what other stuff you guys want. Because this was a suggested video. So let me know in the comment section. And I'll try and get to it ASAP. I promise, guys. I will try and get to it as soon as possible. But hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Because it helps the channel and the video grow as well, guys. But I'm going to wrap this video up. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. Because it is a crazy world. And there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys... Peace.